Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we have our wheat to harvest on field 57. I took a contract to also harvest wheat on 56, since it's right next to field 57, so we might as well uh, make a little extra money and get a little extra grain from doing that. Um, let's see, then we're going to have to plow 57. Well, not plow it, but cultivate 57. Um and plant hay on it again so so we do the same thing we did last season uh, where we get one big hay cutting off of it and then turn it into uh, a cover crop essentially um and then i took uh all the hay contracts and they are all hay and they are all going to johnson's farmer's market i had to do the usual you know clear clear and refresh and clear and refresh until i could get them all to go to johnson's farmer's market instead of to my own um facilities um, including the biogas plant now too, because of course we own that. Speaking of which, let's take a look at our finances here for June. Uh, so basically we finished off June with very close to the same amount of money that we got in May. So I think this is going to be a fairly consistent figure, you know, as, you know, as time goes on. Uh, so yeah, we, we made another 63,781 off of that. Uh, I paid 59.83 in wages. Uh, delivery costs were a little bit higher because uh, once again, the um, uh, the silage had dropped down, so that yeah that that gets pretty significant. But I think I'm okay with that. It it seems somewhat realistic. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I, I'm going to give it a few more months, and then before I make a decision on whether or not I should dumb that down a little bit. And then let's see. Nothing was purchased. Uh, the usual expenses are up here, as you can see for. Repairs, leasing costs, production costs, that sort of thing. Um, and we made $103,379 off of our greenhouses. Okay, so um, the other thing that we need to do uh, and that I'm considering is the we need to do another mixture. And on the Mod Hub, there is, I, I got a new mixer here, uh, right here, this Lucas mixer. And it holds uh, 30,000 liters. It's $93,000, but it's um it's pretty good sized. And we could, we don't necessarily need to get this now, but I'm, I haven't decided yet if I'm, when we upgrade to the large cow barn, if I'm going to get the normal large cow barn. Let's see, cows. For 518, which means then that we still have to uh, do the mixture ourselves, and in which case we would need to buy that larger mixture or, or mixer. But you know, the more I think about that, that larger mixer is a hundred thousand dollars, which means that if we get this barn, we need to add almost another hundred thousand dollars to the price because we have to get the larger mixture, which really makes this, you know, six hundred ish thousand dollars for another hundred and twenty two thousand dollars then for the price you know for this one we get the automatic robotic feeder so when you look at it that way it kind of makes more sense just to go with this one when the time comes i'll tell you what though i'm, I'm not going to purchase that larger mixer right now but if it comes up for sale we we might go ahead and and, and nab it at that point but for now, we're just going to continue uh, using the smaller mixer. I, I don't actually have to do that today, though. The cows are, are fine. Uh, yeah, they still have 50%. So I probably won't worry about that today the more I think about it because we've got so much other work to do with uh, the hay contracts <clears throat> and the two wheat fields that we have to harvest and then the replanting of the uh, of 57 in particular. The nice thing, though, is our money's climbing. We have no bank loans. We paid those off. And, you know, it's just going to get better and better as time goes on. And, um, you know, I'm watching the sales for, for stuff I'd like to get. I would like to get another tractor um, and maybe maybe relegate the McCormick to 100%, you know, cow taking care of the cows and not use it much anymore because it's just so old. Uh, and it's my lowest horsepower tractor. And maybe get, you know, another medium tractor. I sure wish that um, the fast track would... Uh, uh, you know, would come up for sale, but it hasn't. So if it does, I'm grabbing it, man. <laughs> I'm grabbing it. I want that tractor. So we'll just, you know, we'll hold out a little bit longer and just see, you know, what comes up in the sales. Um, off camera, the John Deere 6, 6R series 
uh, came up for sale. Man, I was tempted. I almost wondered if I should have just gotten it, but because I really like that tractor, but I didn't. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> okay, so I just need to decide what we're going to do first. Uh, we could at least get the hay started. So why don't we do that? Let's jump in the crone. As you can see, I borrowed Field 71's equipment. And we'll at least get started. Everything is, uh, I think I mentioned this, but everything is um, hay as opposed to silage, uh, which is a good thing because uh, we need to re we need to replenish our, our hay supply. It's, it's, it's okay, but I, I'd like to have a little more than I have. We make a little less money off of hay than we do silage, but that's okay. This is really, you know, how we keep our hay supplied from these contracts. So that way my own hay, my own grass can go 100% to silage and making us more money. So we'll take the, the crone out to field 71 and get it started. And then, you know, uh, I'll kind of, you know, bounce back and forth between that and harvesting. Oh, wait a second. Um... Why is my wheat not ready to harvest? Oh, I must have planted it a month a month later. Here, let's look at the I mean it's obviously obviously not ready to harvest by looking at it. Um yeah, it's it's uh, actually not ready to harvest. Oh, that's funny. Oh, never mind. No. Okay. Um all right, well, in that case, I guess we will be doing that in August. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I, I guess uh, we planted it a month later. And, uh, yeah, all right, well, that changes the plan a little bit. We still have to do everything else. So let's... um. Roll on over here and get going on the hay. And this is uh, we don't we don't want a windrow with this, of course. I'll do the first uh, go around as usual, and then have course play take over from there. Yeah. Okay. Those are up. That's good. Let's get some lights on here. All right, let's go to it. Okay, so that does the outer pass there. We'll get lined up. And he's actually going to start at the edge of the field. But that's fine. Especially since we're not windrowing. Go in just a little bit here. Okay, we'll bring up course play. We will load field 71, uh, spiral hay. Da, 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 da. Load course, activate. Start at first waypoint and turn them loose. They always do that. Even though I get them lined up, they turn around. Well, maybe it's because I'm lining them up too far forward. I'll bet you that's what it is now that I think about it. Because the waypoint's right there. That makes sense. Okay, so we're going to let this dude make a few passes before we bring, uh, or, or before we start the tedding. Uh, just because I'm sure we have that really long tedder here. Let's... Oh, actually, I got 69% mixture in here. Never mind. We don't have to do a new mixture today. Well, not that I was going to anyway, but we're good to go on the cows then, man. And there's still 4% left. How about that? Okay. Uh, so, oh, I also, I don't know. I Well, I think I did put the shed in on camera. Yeah, I did, but uh, this is the these are the items that I've moved over to the shed. So I've kind of keeping 
you know, with the exception of the telehandler, I'm kind of keeping some of the smaller stuff in here. Well, I guess the cultivator's not small either. But most of these bays have the smaller implements because, you know, before I was kind of tucking them in back in, you know, in between the bigger stuff and sometimes things would glitch out. So, yeah, this is uh, the arrangement now with this shed. Okay, anyway, let's get back to the yard here. And, uh, yeah, so we'll jump in. Um, you only gave me one tractor, huh? Okay. Well, the tedding's got to happen next, so let's jump in the claws here. Nice tractor. And we'll bring the tedder out there. But like I said, we want to wait until the mower ha makes a few passes because this tedder is so wide. Um, I guess I can and should go around the outer edge because course play is not going to hit that. So, yeah, why don't we do that? So there will be a little bit of overlap, but that's okay. You know, I got to thinking we, we might not have to wait till next month to do our wheat. It might be ready tomorrow or even on July 3rd. Uh, so hopefully that will be the case because I'd like to, to get it done in July and get the field replanted with grass so that we can do a second cutting harvest on it in um, October and then turn around and plant the winter wheat. So uh, hopefully that will be the case. We, we shall see when we roll over to tomorrow and or July 3rd. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we're just about done with this first pass of tedding, and then we're going to let the mower get ahead. Otherwise, these guys will be running into each other. And while that's happening... We can we can get started on field 58. See, so you're going to want to start right here when you actually start. Here, turn that off. Just back him up a little further so that way he can start right at the waypoint. Okay, so let's uh, go back to the yard. And we need to get set up to do field 58. You know, I could take my mower up to the upper fields. Nah, let's not do that. We'll save some wear and tear on our stuff. All right, let's jump into Big Claws. I love this machine, man. She's a beaut. Okay. Look up to our enormous header here. And hook up the PTO. I don't think we have to hook up lines on this one. It's really weird because some headers require lines, some don't. Some you hook up, just hook it up and that's, and go. Some require PTO. Well, I think most of them require PTO hookup. Okay, so I don't think we'll clear the rails of that bridge, so we have to go through this way. It's tight, but we can do it. We did it last time. Go through here. Oh, I must have removed that little footbridge thing that was down there before. I don't remember doing it, but I'm sure that I did. Alright, I don't think we're going to make it through there, so we're going to have to come around this way. We 
we should be able to get through here. It's tight, but we can do it. All right, awesome. So I'll probably just leave the combine out in the field after we're done with uh, 58. So that it's just ready to go for hopefully tomorrow or at least July 3rd. Say goodbye to the road sign. <laughs> this one too. Okay, we should be able to squeeze right on through here. There we go. And um, I believe I'd like to start on one of the square corners. So we'll start down here. A tree might be a bit of a problem if we start this direction. I think we can, yeah, we can kind of ease it in this way though. First need to unfold the harvester. Oh yeah, yeah we do. Kind of swing right on around in through here. Um, you know, honestly, it would probably be easier to do this the other direction, even though the passes will be shorter. Well, no, not not if we go in a circle. Okay. This is a relatively small field, so I don't think I'm going to bother with doing course play. Let's just do it ourselves and enjoy our awesome combine here. And when we get full, we'll bring a, a tipper over to get the grain. Where is this going, by the way? I think it's going to the, the North Grain Mill. Let's see, we're working 58. Or, or no, 56, sorry. Yeah, it goes up to the grain mill. Okay. Look at that header working, man. Look around our nice, awesome combine here. <laughs> there comes the wheat. Ah, uh, I'm busy screwing around and not paying attention. <laughs> We'll be able to, of course, pick up the straw off this field, too, so that'll boost our straw up a little bit. And then our field will boost it up a lot more. Just go around the corner here. Yeah, we're making a little over $4,000 to do this, but it's worth it because it's right next door, you know, to our other field. If it was all the way across the map, I might not have bothered with it, but since it's here, it is in my plans to eventually purchase this field too, but probably not going to be the next one that we purchase. We'll see them. No promises. Anything could happen. Keep the straw on the field there. You know, I guess we could... GPS this 
Uh, there's no harm in doing that, of course. So, turn GPS on. <clears throat> um, if we just go to feel, yeah, here and load this, and then flip it, which I think is Control R, and we just need to move it over a little bit. So that's all. Let's see. There we go. It's kind of weird. The keyboard shortcut for resetting or aligning the uh, GPS lines is Alt Home. But I I discovered accidentally that I have if I press Alt Page down first and then Alt Home, then it works. But if I just do Alt Home, it doesn't work. So it's really odd. I'm not sure why that is. All right, guys, well, enjoy the wheat harvest. Let's do this.
All right, guys, that takes care of field 56. Uh, we have 13,000 liters left in here. I think we'll be able to get it all in the trailer. We will find out here in a moment. All right, fantastic. Uh, let's pull in the pipe here. And I'm just going to park the combine right over here so it's ready to go for when this field's ready, which hopefully will be tomorrow. Okay. Before we dump off the grain, let's go up here and get this guy started. So now let's go take the grain to the mill, get that dropped off. All right, we're going to use the, uh, the little door. I'm going to switch it over uh, so we have better control over stopping this when the time comes. All right, so we ended up with just shy of 3,000 liters. That's enough to get some flour started anyway. But remember, too, we're also getting the money for the contract and we're getting the straw off the field, so it's a good deal all the way around. Okay, let's go to the production menu. And we want the mill. We want to go wheat flour activate. <laughs> it's not going to make very much, but hey, whatever, right? Okay, so that takes care of um, the tipping of the wheat. We still have to get the straw off that field. Okay, so it's not letting me use the V rake. But it is letting me bail. Alright, well, we don't need the V-rake. It's handy, but it's not essential. So yeah, let's get the straw bailed.
stormy rain try to wash away the dream Step one it says a worn outside and the diner's name is California dreams Hey oh, for as long as I remember It's been stuck inside my mind You can't ask me to surrender When reaching for the dream Guys, this is the hay that we end up with uh, at the end of all of the contracts. That's a nice little chunk of hay there for us. So let's get that put in the barn. Uh, because I did use uh, farmer field 71 farmer's stuff on the other fields, I am going to have to wash and refuel everything. So we'll get that done too. And we'll get everything turned in. And, well, actually, we can do all the turning. No, we can't do the turning in until I get the washing and the fueling done. So let's get the hay dropped off first. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn in all the contracts, first of all. Uh, so let's see, we're sitting at 289.028 at the moment. And now we're 362.675. So nice influx of cash there. And we get all of this hay as well. And a little bit of green. Not, not a whole lot of green, but a little bit. So what we're going to do is drop this off here. I don't know what side this is going to drop off on. The right side. Look at that. And looks like we need to put those there too. Okay, so that gives us um, 686,000 and change uh, liters of hay. And yeah, that's a nice little chunk of hay. That should keep us going for a while. We have also 650 so we have almost a, an even amount of straw too but we're going to be getting more straw when we harvest our own uh, field 57 quite a bit more as a matter of fact so that went pretty good guys uh you may have noticed uh during all the all the time lapse i decided by the way to to do that in uh time lapse format because i haven't really done any major time lapses or montages uh, in a while and I, I love to do them. I hope you guys like them, too. You know, it kind of breaks things up. Music is always good, uh, too. But um, I uh, I leased an, a second V-rake, and I think I'm going to hang on to it, you know, and do the lease to own thing. So, you know, so we have two of them. Usually when I'm doing my own hay, I don't need to, but we could uh, we could start using two. And I could, you know, when, when we're using uh, course play and auto drive, um, you know, we could put uh, the second V-rake on the AI vehicle, and I think I think they'll do okay because we're, you know, doing the spiral format now, and they're not as prone to crashing into trees and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, this went pretty well. So I think what's going to happen now is we're going to um, 
we're gonna is there anything else we need to do chores wise chickens are okay cows are in great shape sheep are in great shape i think uh the greenhouses are fine for now they are in another month or so we are going to have to replenish their seeds but otherwise they're in good shape and the um okay so this is done processing so we can deactivate that so i think that affects production costs and if we look at the biogas factory it is pretty much chocked full and it's got our digestate up to 186,000 I am planning on using that uh, to fertilize our um, our field when we replant it. So I'm happy we have that. Plus, we also have, you know, whatever little bit of slurry uh, as well, uh, which uh, that's going to be in here. So we have 135,000 liters of slurry there. So between those two, hopefully that'll be enough for us to get our fields completely fertilized without having to use chemical fertilizer. Uh, all right. So... Yeah, I think uh, I'm just going to get the rest of my equipment here cleaned up and repaired and put away, all that sort of thing. And then um, we're going to sleep until July 2nd, and hopefully um, our wheat will be ready to harvest on July 2nd. If not Ju July 2nd, then we'll, of course, try July 3rd. However, I think, uh, I, I'm <laughs> as usual, I'm not quite sure where we are on time here. So... I think we're going to go ahead and just wrap up with the episode here and then I will bring you guys back in the next episode on July 2nd and or July 3rd. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.